with no YouTube, it is KD and welcome to my first ever video. And so, you may be wondering who I am, why I'm here, why you should care that I'm here, you know, what's going on. Um, <laughs> well, most people's YouTube channel, they tend to have something that they focus on, something that is their niche. And my niche is simply that I am a generally creative person. I am an art major in school, but that doesn't mean I don't like to do things other than draw. I paint. I'm in a ceramics class right now, making trash. <laughs> I'm changing majors, actually, into digital animation, so it's not just going to be studio art anymore. I like to journal. I like to write. I like to read. I'm interested in filmmaking. I have all If I had the money for it, outfits of the day would be a thing for me. So would makeup artistry. I have lots of creative interests. So, for the sake of categorizing myself, we will call me a creative. If you are also a creative person out in the world, then welcome to our domain. Aside from a creative, I'm a student, sibling, a daughter, maybe someday I'll be a parent. There's a lot that I do and a lot of me that I think I could share with the world. So I do hope that you will all join me in my creative days. I started out working on an oil painting that had been going on for much too long. I was really sick of it by the time that we get here. Uh, it's, it's tomorrow. Hopefully my teacher likes it because I'm, I'm done as far as I'm concerned. I've actually never taken oil painting before. Before now, I've never done any oil painting like before this class, so what I mean to say. I basically only did watercolor and acrylic if forced. So this was an entirely new experience for me working with this medium. And while I enjoyed what I created in the class, it was definitely a challenge. I just realized the more I move, the more bouncy this is going to be. You want to make sure to always wash your brushes. It's important, especially with acrylic, because that paint will dry and your brush will be ruined. With watercolor and oil, you have a chance to fix it. The acrylic paints just, just cancel yourself if you don't wash your brush. As previously mentioned, I'm also in a ceramics class, specifically wheel throwing. I, I came in today pretty much just to see how my stuff turned out, uh, we, I got a pitcher, fired, and two plates. And of course, the plate that I like has a giant S crack in it. By the way, that is S crack, the letter S, not not something else. Definitely sounds like something else. It may as well be something else, but it's an S crack. I, it, my favorite plate naturally just has a humongous crack in it, so it's it's not functional. Like, My picture is pretty cute. I was like almost certain in my heart of hearts that it was going to explode, but it ended up pretty cute, so I'm living. Another thing you should know about me right off the bat is that I'm really annoying. <laughs> previously mentioned, I am a college student, so here I'm just studying. I am in British literature, Brit survey of British literature, because like I said, I like reading and writing, so I decided to take this class to fill my requirement, and it's actually been really, really fun. I've read a lot of cool stuff in there, and I've realized Shakespeare's sonnets are like my favorite thing ever to be ever. Alexander Pope. Steph Stephen Duck, Stephen Duck, um, Mary Collier, Shakespeare, obviously. Okay, wait, which ones did we read? Um, 38? I want to say, okay, um, shall I compare thee to a summer's day? And when my lover says she's truthful, I believe her, or something like that, but I don't know the numbers. Um, I think it's 38 and 71. 18 and 138. <laughs> okay, I tried. Um, Afrofilm Stunnel Sons. Okay, these are by somebody, I don't know who they're by, but it's Sonnet 1, which is, like, writing in 
verse true my love is to show, something like that. Um, 101, which is still is sick, and 38 maybe, I think? 71? 71, which is... Um, I don't know. <laughs> um, yeah, 71. Who will in fairest... Oh, okay. Who in the fairest book of nature know? And they're by Philip Sidney. I knew that in my heart of hearts. They, being my RA, gave us this, like, stress dog print. It's probably a panther print because of my school, but this, like, stress thing. And it smells like... <laughs> like hand sanitizer or like rubbing alcohol, which I love that smell, but I'm just wondering how exactly they got this piece of foam to smell like that. Like what's what's really going on here? Alongside reading, I do like to write, as I've already I already said that for sure, but <laughs> alongside reading I do like to write. I'm actually working on writing a book for fun this summer, so this is just me trying to hash out ideas, figure out what is going on like I, I really summer starts in like three days and I don't even have a book idea so a mess that's another thing you should know about me right just, just straight out the gate I'm a disaster do not come here expecting perfection I, it, you're <laughs> you're look you're barking up the wrong tree you're looking in the wrong place it's, it's not happening so I'm trying to figure out one of my characters and I figure the way to do this is to experiment with stream of consciousness I'm gonna do it later in the mind of the character, but for right now I'm doing it in my own mind because I've actually never done this before and I figure it'll be easiest to do as me. And sometimes in my journal I like to just put some random color, so I just added a yellow and it's not even straight, lord. I hate that it's not straight, but it's fine. That's really ugly, but it's okay. We're just gonna pretend that it looks good and call it a day. The way that I chose to film this, that my hand is uh, blocking everything that I'm doing, so it's I'm not uh, interesting in any way. So I'm gonna actually do the camera. Are you liking the other side of my desk? I got these cute little pens. They're like pen marker thingies at um, Blick. It's the only art store near me, so I have to go to Blick. I'm used to, like, being at my house and going to Michael's, but, you know, like, whatever. And, you know, it's like, an acceptable store, but I really like these little pens. They were too much money. They were, like, $7 for the little kit, which I, uh, you know, I'd rather just get some Crayolas, but they, they, they don't bleed through the pages much. They get the job done. I'm pleased with them. They're called Igloo, also, which is cute. Are they called Igloo or am I crazy? No, they're not called igloo. They're called uli 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 uli. <laughs> I don't know why that turned into igloo in my head, but now I'm going to consciously stream my writing onto this paper. So I guess I can't really talk while I do this because I have to focus on not focusing on anything, <laughs> which sounds counterintuitive, but. That's how stream of consciousness works. At least that's how I think it works. I don't know. I've still got to get good at this. I'm trying to, like, figure out how to create my own characters. So I've never really done that before, so. I'm trying to write a whole book. It's probably the best idea I've ever come up with. <laughs> okay. Here we go. There's this whole idea that artists have like just the most gorgeous, beautiful, cursive, you know, cal cal calligraphic <laughs> handwriting. I don't. My handwriting is a uh, like legit chicken scratch. I feel like, you know, maybe sometimes I should turn the camera on me, but that also feels really awkward. <laughs> I'm gonna go eat, which I'm always going to go eat. It's not like my, my life is not that interesting. I don't know why you're even here. I, I do nothing all day. I eat and sleep in front of a computer screen, so find that fun. <laughs> here I am. Thank you for following me around today. Will my videos be from here on? Well, more vlogging.
vlogging. I'm actually kind of like really embarrassed to vlog, which is why I'm doing this voiceover version. I will vlog someday at some point. I will just walk around talking to a camera. It will happen. I'm just I'm I'm not quite there yet. Um, <laughs> there will be vlogs, just following my life around. There will be artistic videos. There will be writing videos. There will, might be a reading video in here somewhere. <laughs> I mean, just a little bit of everything. If something I've said here resonates with you and you want to stick around and get to know me and see where I go in my college career, my future life, just, just in life in general, then please stick around and see what I have to find. If you're new to YouTube and don't know for some reason, if you just scroll like a little bit, like just, just like the tiniest bit past this video, there's a little button and it says subscribe. You just click it for free and then it'll tell you when I post new videos and you could just follow me around. Like, isn't it, that crazy? Like, <laughs> I'm so stupid. <laughs> Thank you so much for following me around today and getting to know just a tiny little bit about me. And hopefully I will see you guys next time. Until then, doodaloo.